Good morning, Stupid. My name is Lily, and today is Tuesday, January 21st, also known as National Hugging Day. National Hugging Day occurs on January 21st and is officially recognized by the United States Copyright Office, but is not a public holiday, which is ironic because the purpose of the day is to help somebody, is to help everyone show more emotion in public. The only way to celebrate the day is by offering a hug to anyone and everyone you want. If they want it back. <laughs> Whether you hug a family member or a stranger, the mental and physical health benefits are the same. From the day we were born, hugs or touch improve our sleep. Hugging, like cuddling, releases oxytocin. On its own, this hormone provides tremendous health benefits. Not only does it give us feel-good hormones, but it reduces pain. Receiving a hug helps reduce stress, lowers blood pressure, and lowers the risk of heart disease. It also eases anxiety. Save a life. Give someone a prior approved good touch. Not, no stranger danger, strictly the friend zone. This is a family show, so keep it clean. You can't hold us responsible if this thing goes south. Hug. This month's Instagram worthy theme is halfway there. The school year is halfway over, but that means you still have about five months left of school. So don't slack off. This is your Steel Mill News. January 21st today from 3.30 to 5.45 p.m. in room 293. This year's contest play is Two Rooms by Lee Blessing and the group interpretation is an adaptation of the film Labyrinth. Scripts are available in Mr. Hoyt's room, room 293. And it is strongly recommended that you read the play prior to auditions. See Mr. Hoyt with any questions or if you are unable to attend the auditions. As a procrastinator-friendly organization, the Snowball Retreat Weekend due date for forms has been extended until this Friday. It's not too late to make a decision. You'll never regret. Come to Snowball. Attention students, mark your calendars. This year's Black and White Dance is Saturday, February 8th from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets will go on sale Monday, January 27th in the bookstore. Please make sure all your fees are paid. If you have any questions, please, e please email or see Mrs. Seeper in room 273. Are you interested in attending cosmetology school during your senior year? If so, make sure you're, you check out the Professionals Choice Open House on Saturday, February 29th. If you can't make it, you can contact Stephanie Hansen at 815-741 8224 or email at schooljt at aol.com to make your appointment to tour the center on a different day. Today's Daily Backstroke of the Day du Jour. Where do naughty rainbows go? I don't know. Where do they go? Prism. All right. Great start to the week. On this day in history in 2018, on the first full day of Donald Trump's presidency, hundreds of thousands of people crowd into the U.S. Capitol for the Women's March on Washington, a massive protest in the nation's capital aimed largely at the Trump administration and the perceived threat it represented to reproductive, civil, and human rights. At the same time, more than three million people in cities across the country and around the world held their own simultaneous protests in a global show of support for the resistance movement. It was the largest single-day protest in U.S. history. On this day in science history, in 1880, Memphis, Tennessee begins construction on the first independent municipal sewage system in the U.S. Wow. On this day in music history, in 1997, Pat Boone releases the album In a Metal Mood, No More Mr. Nice Guy, where he covers various hard rock classics including Stairway to Heaven, Enter Sandman, and Crazy Train. On this day in sporting history, in 1990, John McEnroe becomes the first player to be expelled from the Australian Open. That doesn't sound very fun. Today's musical lyric, 
Crazy, but that's how it goes. Millions of people living as foes. Maybe it's not too late to learn how to love and forget how to hate. Mental wounds not healing, life's a bitter shame. I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne and apparently later covered by squeaky clean Pat Boone. Today is an inspiring quote. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Albert Einstein. Today's humorous quote. If we ever travel thousands of light years to a planet inhabited by intelligent life, let's just make patterns in their crops and leave. Bill Murray. Today is weather, sunny, high of 29, low tonight of 22, and partly cloudy. Tomorrow, cloudy with high of 35. Today's new vocabulary word is ecomphysis, which means looselessness in the teeth. You have to have ecomphysis to say ecomphysis with the proper emphasis. Thank you, Steelman, and have a nice day.